Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is another video of sustainable Minnie Mouse ears. This time we are making Christmas ears. So we're gonna make these reindeer ears. We're gonna use a combination of sustainable product and store-bought product at a very minimal price. So we're gonna have our sustainable product, we have our sustainable ears, and we're gonna use these store-bought items that cost a dollar. So these are reindeer ears that I bought at the Dollar Tree, just one dollar. So we're gonna turn these into Minnie Mouse ears. We're gonna use pipe cleaner, um, garland, and probably another, like a few other things. This is what it's gonna look like. Something similar now because it's a sustainable, they all have their little personality. So let's go over how to make these ears. If you're interested, please stick around. I've already kind of started on working on these. I'm not gonna show too much detail or I might just fast forward everything, but um, they're all gonna come out very different. So I'm gonna talk about this after I'm done showing you how these are gonna turn out. I'm prepping everything first. So I'm gonna get, I already cut my fabric. I'm gonna do, this is gonna be my, my bow. This is gonna be the, the ribbon for the bow and then I'm gonna make a ribbon to line this head down. And I hadn't done this before so this one I am gonna kind of detail a little bit. What I'm gonna do is this is my template to make the exterior of the headband. Now for this one I'm not gonna make an exterior because this already has little ears attached so I don't need to make a I don't need to line that headband but I do need to make a ribbon for the inside. This I hadn't done before so we're gonna do this now. So this is like 12 and a half inches. I'm gonna write it right here. Now I have it all together. Now we don't have to worry too much about over measuring tape. I'm just gonna use this one as a guide. I'm not gonna use my ruler for this one just because this is already done. We're gonna take our double sided tape, lay it down right here, close to the edge, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. So, because this interior lining is just a very thin tape, you don't need so much extra. Let's start doing this. Start down the center. I realize I'm doing this. I think I probably did show you before. Anyway, we're gonna do it again, just because this is an extra step that we're taking for these headbands. And they're a little bit different than the ones that we made, that we made here from scratch. So fold it in. And I'm actually gonna prep this now like folding the edges and everything and show you how I measure that so that this is ready and when we start making our ears it's gonna be like a little factory here rolling everything out Hi. we're gonna put some hot glue on here don't burn yourself don't burn yourself oh it's super hot it is super hot that's okay I think I'm a glue right here we do but we still have blue blood yeah we have a lot of glue <laughs> alright so we take this side down Yep, super good. And now I'm gonna take these they're ears. ears. Oh, they're Christmas ears. They're these Christmas ears. They, and they look like reindeers. Yeah, they look like reindeers. And I'm gonna measure what I need before I cut. That's, so now these the guys are sticking and sticking, sticking on. I'm gonna end about here. Yep, super. So all I do <laughs> is just measure, measuring all around. Okay. It's kind of sticking on there because there's part of the double-sided tape. Okay, can I turn this around? That's good, but anyway, um, so just measure all around. Can I turn this around, please? And then... I'm going to cut about here. That's sticky tape. Yeah, that's sticky tape. Yeah, we get it. It's sticky tape. Can I put the tape on? I don't want to put the tape on. Okay. So here's our glue. Now stick it on the glue. Fold it in. Fold it in. Stick it on. And now we're ready. This is our Stupid. interior tape. So now we're ready. I'm going to set this aside. Let's finish making this. Yeah. This is the ribbon. That's ribbon, ribbon, tapey. You know how to do it? I think so. Okay, go do it. Now good job. Let me finish for you. Get it. 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 So here's our the ribbon. That's the ribbon for your bow. Let's make our bow. We're gonna fold this in. We're gonna fold this because we're gonna make our little pillow. Before we fold the next side, what is it? I want to do something a little different. What is it? 
Can I go this way? Fold this in. Oh, That's, this is the center. So this is going to be where a ribbon is going to wrap around. I really want to fold it. So now I know that this is our center. I really want to fold it. I know you want to fold it. Please. So I'm just going to fold this back just so that I know what the center is. Oh, I already did it. <laughs> Sorry, baby. You're going to fold the next one. And then we're just going to add a little glue here. Let's stick it on. So that it can hold. And then let's just fold this once again. Just to make sure we did this right. So fold it's folded. It. We know that this is the center. Now we're going to get to adding our our ribbon. Let me take my ribbon that my daughter just made. I'm going to keep it just like that. I'm going to keep it. She made it. Set that aside. So this is our bow. I'm going to fold it once. Fold it twice. Fold it three times. Show our glue gun in here. Put this thing back here. Fold it for a little bit. And then now let's start adding our ribbon. So that's actually perfection. Let's add some glue. Hold it down for a little bit. We're just pinching it. So we wrapped it around tightly. And then I'm gonna add glue right here where we started in the center. And then I kind of end closer to the end of the bow, not to the front, so that there isn't so much glue showing up. Because sometimes I decide to cut this off completely and just add the bow, or sometimes I decide to wrap this around. Here's our bow, it's beautiful. Next, we're gonna do our ears. So we're gonna use this fabric. So this fabric, I wanna to talk to you about what this is. I made two bows so far made of this fabric, which was actually a pair of stretchy pants that belonged to my daughter. So that, you know, she's, she's, she's a toddler. There isn't that much fabric in a little pair of stretchy pants. So we're gonna cut out enough for these ears. I did the front and the back. And then now I have enough fabric to make the front and the back of another pair of ears. And then we start at the top. I, I'm tugging, but I'm not tugging like a lot because this fabric has a pattern and if we tug way too much it's gonna you're gonna see it within the pattern you're gonna see the tugging because it's gonna start like deforming the pattern I'm gonna set these aside and finish the rest of my ears finish making my ears and this changed a little bit so I made the four ears that I had from from that fabric and I'm gonna set these two aside because I decided that I'm gonna do something a little bit different with these. I'm gonna use two of the ears with that Christmas fabric, and then I made two more ears with the red fabric that I used for the bow. I'm gonna use the red as a back for these ears, and it'll be a two-color mini mouse ears. And that's gonna be on the back. So let's see how that's gonna look. First, I'm gonna glue these together, and I'm gonna use this green trim because it's actually almost exact as these ears. I'm gonna glue these together. We're gonna do a little, something a little different. I already glued my ears together. Now I'm gonna add the trim. So originally, I was thinking of just using the pipe cleaner, just one single pipe cleaner in green and laying it down the center. But you know what? I don't, I think I want this a little bit thicker, just like these. And like these have lining that you can, or trim that you can actually see and, it's, and it pops out a little bit from the ears. And I, I messed around a little bit with this because I didn't want this alone. So I attached two different pipe cleaners to make it a little bit thicker. So we can do either green alone, which is actually my original thought, but now this is just a little bit thicker. And then I did this. This is green and red together. And I kind of like that too. But then I went a little bit crazier and I added three different colors. And I'm happy with the three look a little more Christmassy and it's going to tie in the the garland at the end. So let's start by showing you how we made this a little bit thicker with the three colors. So I got three different pipe cleaners. I got the silver, the green, and the red. And I have a shish kebab skewer <laughs> that I found in my, in my drawers. I'm going to line the skewer with the silver and then I'm going to start with one color pipe cleaner. This should start with the green. So I'm going to start on the bottom here and then I'm going to start going all the way around. So I'm just going to pin to the bottom here and then just start wrapping it around the skewer, leaving about, I don't know, half an inch maybe, gap, all the way down. Now we're going to do the red, we're going to start on the bottom again, we're going to pinch it and do the same wrapping around, just between the green. Okay, so we filled in the gap. Okay, so I'm happy with this, I know it looks a little funny. I'm gonna pull out my skewer. And here we go. And I'm gonna start attaching these 
on the outer end of each of my ears. Okay, so I just added it in here. I'm just gonna press it down for a little bit so it adheres well. So this is just the way that this ear is gonna come out because I use the, the different color back. I didn't do this with the other ones. With the other ones, I just use a single pipe cleaner. This is just the way this is gonna come out. So like I said before, these little projects, they always come out different once I start making them because everything always kind of tells me what it wants to be. Just hold it down. We finished lighting our ears. So this is how we look so far. This is the back, this is the front. We got the, the trim, I'm gonna set that aside. And then now we're gonna work on, on our ears. We're gonna add this, this garland around. And I'm just gonna leave this one here as a guide because I've already kind of messed with this one and figured out how to do it. Start on the inside, on the interior, on like the interior of the front and wrap it around the back around the ears and then come around the top and then just kind of like end it here so all we're going to do is glue it down i'll show you this first one and then i'm going to move on to the next one and do that one on my own so i kind of just glue in there in the center because this is going to be covered by the ear that we made earlier i'm just going to hold it down come around the top here and then we're going to end it here Okay, so now I'm going to move on to doing the next side. Now that we're done with our garland, it's looking better. We're going to add our ears. So now let's get everything we need here. We need our template. <laughs> the template that we've been using. Oh, still this one. And I'm going to lay my ears down here. Actually, I'm going to put this down first. And this is how it's going to look. That looks perfect. So I'm going to attach these. We don't have to do this on, on screen. I'm going to attach these. Once I'm done attaching that, I'm going to attach the bow. And then we're going to go ahead and attach the lining. Look at where we are. So I took my the, the template out so that you can see this clearly. So I already attached the garland, the ears. I made everything cool here. I put the bow on. Check out the back. We're not done. We're going to add our ribbon in the center or in the interior. And I just kind of want to go through this one time. Um, just in case I haven't done this before. So just very briefly, I'm gonna start in the center. So I folded it in half and I'm gonna start in the center and then I'm going to just smooth it out. So I'm gonna smooth it out, it's gonna end about here. So this is gonna be your little lining. So again, you don't have to be on screen for this, but I'll do this and then I'm gonna show you the end product and we're gonna talk a little bit about these Christmas Minnie Mouse ears. Done. We're done with three of these where we completed this one prior, this one prior, and we just did this one. So I want to show you how different they all come out. This one I had used already, this is a store-bought bow, so I didn't want to do this again, this is an experiment. I may not put this one up for sale, I might, I don't know. If I do, I'm going to list it down on the bottom. And then this one is, again, another experiment. We used a bow that was actually made out of this fabric. So this was a onesie, and I cut it up, so I made a bow and I made the the lining inside and then we added some rhinestones to it then we just did this one so this one here this is the one that we just did we've made the bow um we did the bow in the video we uh we did the dual color ears we added the garland we made the trim we made the interior trim so this was this is actually i think this is probably my favorite one but since they all came out different i am going to ask you a question which one do you like better do you like this with like all these extra rhinestones do you like this one with this bow do you like what i did here with with this really cool trim and just let me know down in the comments i'm gonna i'm really interested in knowing what it is that you guys think these are going to be listed on ebay i'm going to link everything below uh so you do have the option of buying these and now you know how to make them so if you do want to make them yourself you can or if you want to just buy ones that are already made and just support us and that's that's wonderful we would love that i do have a few more that i'm going to make i might make more at some point but for now i just kind of want to know if you guys like this and it's so early in the year that we do have time to to tweak these and make some other changes but like i said these are for sale if you did like my video please give it a thumbs up hit on that notification button so that you know when we do have new videos coming out and Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.